Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I want to share with you uh, what God has been teaching me. Recently, not long ago, I was praying and the Holy Spirit convicted me of something that I needed to learn. And it was a lesson that God is still teaching me today. Today, we will go to the book of John chapter 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil have now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God. He riseth from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girdeth himself. After that he poureth water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet, and had taken his garments, and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. First, I want to say, Peter, why he was so taken back that Jesus would wash his feet is because in those days there was no bathtubs, there was no water indoors. And so they walked a lot outside and with open sandals and their feet smelled really bad. And so to wash the feet was a very um, humbling, humbling thing to do. But it's a great example that Jesus showed. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Son of God, not only came down to this earth, but he also knelt before his disciples and washed their feet. He humbled himself before them. He became a servant. He served them. And that's what we need to do. God is teaching me, serve others. It's not about you. Yes, this society, it, sh it bombards us with how good you look, how, how it's all about you. It's all about me. You know, I, I, I. But no, Jesus came and showed us an example that it's not about us. It's about serving others. Jesus came to serve. He came down to serve. He didn't come down to, to become a king. He did not come down to... All of, it's, it's all about Him and, and that people would serve Him, but that He came down to this earth to serve others. Another lesson that God is teaching me is later in the chapter of 13, verse 34, Jesus says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. We need to pray. We need to pray that Jesus will give us love toward others. 
that is something that I'm praying for. I realize I do not have enough love toward people and I cannot love others only if um, I pray and ask Jesus to put his love in me and that I could love others, that Jesus will help me to love others and to serve others. My dear friends, I want to close with a prayer. Let us go in prayer. My dear Jesus, I thank you, Father, for the lessons that you are teaching me, Lord, and that I am able to share it with my dear friends and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, I ask you that you will help me and that you will help my brothers and sisters in Christ and my dear friends, that, Lord, you will help us to love others, put your love in us toward people, that we will love people with your love and we will serve others that we will take your example and follow in your footsteps. Lord Jesus, you came down to this earth to die on the cross for us. You came down to this earth to serve others, to serve. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord, to follow in your footsteps. I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.